Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. And today we're looking at evaluating expressions. Uh, this is similar to a lesson of evaluating expressions with exponents, but here we have variables that we're giving values for to uh, put in and solve. So it's really similar. It's still order of operations and PEMDAS. So let's take a look and see what we got here. So here is a few different vocabulary that you uh, want to take a look at. Maybe pause the video and look at it and figure out what each one of these things mean. Uh, stuff like um, the expression, yeah, that's the whole thing that we're looking at. Terms, we've talked about that in a previous video, but terms are separated by plus and minuses. Uh, variable, which is an unknown value. Coefficient, the number in front of the variable. Uh, constant terms, we have a term that doesn't have any variables to it. All right, so let's take a look at a few examples here. All right, so here it says, what's the value of the expression below when the variable w is 5 and the variable x equals 9? We're going to take the 5 and the 9 and plug those values in. Okay, the 5 and the 9, I'm going to place the w and the x. So here with the w, this is 7 times w. Okay, so I'm plugging in 5 and putting it in parentheses to show you that it's multiplication. So it's 7 times 5. And here I'm just going to put my 9 here. Now if you remember with PEMDAS, you got, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, you do parentheses first. And even though this is a parentheses here, it's nothing, there's no operation. So we're going to go to exponents, which is no exponents. And then do multiplication, 7 times 5. So 7 times 5 is going to get us 35. I bring down everything else, which is just this minus 9, and it'd be 35 minus 9, and you get 26, and 26 is the answer. All right, well, let's take a look at this one's a little bit bigger here. We've got x is equal to 5, I'm just going to plug in 5 in uh, for x, okay. So everywhere x goes, we're going to put that 5. Come on. All right. So I've got 4 times 5 squared minus 3 times 5 plus 4. So first thing I'm going to do is the exponents, the 5 squared. Okay. So 5 times 5 is 25. Everything else I just rewrote. Now I'm going to do the multiplication from left to right first this is 4 times 25 and this is 3 times 5 so 4 times 25 is 100 negative 3 times 5 is negative 15 and bring down the 4 now to work from left to right 100 minus 15 plus 4 so 100 minus 15 is 85 and then plus 4 is 89 All right, so you could pause the video here and see if you can do these. Now, I put the, the variable uh, on the side there that you're going to plug in, but still the exact same thing. So go ahead and pause the video here and see if you can solve these. All right, let's take a look and see if you got it right. Okay, on this first one, you should have 19. We plug in the 3. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus 4 is 19. Now on this one, you should get 44. So 4 squared, you're going to plug in 4 first. And then you got 4 squared, get 16. 3 times 16 is 48. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Bring down the 8. 48 minus 12 is 36. And 36 plus 8 is 44. And that's it. That is evaluating expressions. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. Have a nice day.